today is Friday, September 3rd, 2021, 7.32 in the morning, 57 degrees in Lusk, Wyoming. And today is day one of the 2021 Devil's Stone Run. one more time. Welcome to Devilstone. I'm so glad you're here. That's what I'd like to hear. All right, day one, Friday. Brady opening remarks at Devil's Tower Trading Post. Shit, I'm late. Devilstone is a four-day, three-night motorcycle run that spans nearly 500 miles across Wyoming. As the name suggests, the ride starts here at Devil's Tower and ends near Yellowstone National Park. Over the next few days, over 200 riders will make the journey across Wyoming to find a few of the state's scenic byways, small towns, and hopefully a few new friends. What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Stacy Will. If you've never been here before, we're on the Devilstone Run. Um, I'm way behind the group. So we're gonna go ahead and get caught up to everyone. Today's day one, and we've got three full days of riding, and I got a couple extra rides to do after this. So let's go ahead and get wild in Wyoming. That was really dorky, but I hope y'all liked it. <laughs> All right, let's go. It wouldn't be a ride through Wyoming without torrential downpour. And of course, this pushed me even further behind the main group of riders that I was trying to catch at our first stop of the day. After getting to Gillette Harley and realizing most of the group was still far ahead, I carried on to the next, hoping to get back in the pack. Within five minutes of arriving to the spotted horse, the majority of the group took off to the day's final destination. At this point, I was tired of chasing the pack and decided to enjoy this little bar in the middle of nowhere. From saddles to branded bar stools for the locals to even furry friends in the bathroom, this was a true country bar, the kind of dives I like to find along my rides. Oh, hi. Outside, I found a few others who weren't in a rush to get anywhere that afternoon and enjoyed plenty of conversation with. Carly and Thomas came out from Tennessee for the Devilstone Run. Eventually, we made the final leg of the ride into Sheridan for the festivities at the Go Fast Don't Die headquarters, where we finally caught up to the rest of the party. Love, love. Congrats, you two lovebirds. The rest of the afternoon was filled with food from our friends at Bonafide, live music, and motorcycle games.
After chasing after the group all day on the first day, I was really debating quitting the ride and going home. It took a few texts and words of encouragement, but I ended up deciding to at least ride to Cody with the group on day two. After all, the Bighorns are a blast to ride, no matter which route you choose to take. There's three routes through this mountain range, but today the run takes us over the Bighorns via the Bighorn Scenic Byway, a 58 mile route that twists and turns up and over the mountains through some pretty epic scenery. Meet my friend Chris. Just like me, he's a pretty big fan of traveling all over the country solo on his motorcycle. He's currently on a 40-day cross-country trip that ended up being about 10,000 miles. Today is day 37 of his ride, and after Devilstone, he'll be headed to Utah for work so he can save up and do a 50-day cross-country ride in 2022. On the western end of the Bighorn Scenic Byway, you'll find the small town of Shell, boasting a population of less than 100 people. You'll also find the historic old Shell store, which is known for their homemade desserts and incredibly tasty burgers. However, it's pretty hard to try and serve up those types of meals for 250 plus motorcyclists all at once. So instead, we'll be having pulled pork sandwiches and enjoying the company of a different type of burger. 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 Yeah. They said burger the weenie dog. Look at that handsome boy! Burger! He thinks you have food. You ready to go to Cody? <laughs> With camp set up for the night, it was time to hit up the most happening bar and grill in Cody, the Silver Dollar. Here, you'll find plenty of locals in addition to visitors enjoying cold drinks and burgers any night of the week. And I'd love to say I remember how good this burger was, but I decided to let a little loose for the night in Cody with the rest of the crew. <laughs> 
Needless to say, morning came a little too soon after shutting down the silver dollar and bringing the party back to the campground. Naturally, I'm one of the last people here, but I think it's gonna be a good day. History was pretty good, so Friday might've been a little rough mentally, but uh, I'm pumped. This has turned into a really good trip. After a quick breakfast at the Irma, I had to stay behind to finish up work while I still had cell signal and Wi-Fi. But I knew I'd catch the group in the park later in the day, and by traveling alone for the first part of the day, I'd get to stop and check out a few roadside attractions I wouldn't have gotten to see if I was riding in the group. Completed in 1910, the Buffalo Bill Dam was once the highest dam in the world at 325 feet. The dam is part of the Shoshone Project, providing irrigation to the Bighorn Basin to the east, in addition to flood control and hydroelectric power. So yesterday, we took this route over to Graybull, came all the way over here to Cody, partied, and now we will go here, down to here. I'll show y'all some more Yellowstone stuff tomorrow uh, in the next video. Assuming you guys haven't seen some of my other Yellowstone videos and I'll link those up here too. But man, I had to stop because this is like the main lake here in uh, the Tetons and it's like completely empty. It is so wild. It looks apocalyptic. For once, I'm actually ahead of the group since I didn't stop to sightsee in Yellowstone.
upon her tit, yo ho. Yo ho. I put my hand upon her tit, yo ho. Yo ho. I put my hand upon her tit. She said, hey, yank, but squeezing it. Get in, get out, quit fucking about. Ready back here. They got a jungle gym around their tent. After heading back to Heart Six Ranch for a quick breakfast, it was time to hit the road. Four days, three nights, and 500 miles across Wyoming later, the Devilstone Run was officially over. While my ride started out stressful with feelings of uncertainty, I'm glad I stuck it out and rode all the way till the end. I started this ride with only a few friends and ended it with dozens of new ones. From here, my friends would head for Nevada, New Jersey, Tennessee, Utah, Oklahoma, Montana, and plenty of other states across the country. As for me, I was headed to take a much needed shower before continuing on with my journey. Y'all already know what time it is. Swim time. Because after riding motorcycles and partying all across the beautiful state of Wyoming, it was much needed. And the perfect place to do it, naturally, was in the clear blue waters of Jenny Lake beneath the Tetons. <laughs> 